with its huge tracts of wild, uninhabited lands stretching from the Andes to the ocean, Argentina really is one of the last great frontiers. Here, a wide variety of native and exotic animals roam free, and some grow into enormous trophies. Each year, it is getting more attention from you, the world sportsman. So it's important to us, Safari Club International. There are 16,000 hunters that travel every year to the country of Argentina to hunt, but 14,000 of them come here for bird hunting. But there is also another 2,000 that come here for big game hunting. Big game hunting in Argentina is exciting because while you may be able to hunt red deer, fallow deer, and wild boar, species that you can hunt in other places of the world, there is only one place where while you're hunting those species, you might run across a choiki or a wanaco. There are different species here, native species to the Patagonian countryside that make hunting in Argentina a completely different experience. Patagonia is an area, it's a region in Argentina. It's really five different provinces and they cover almost the entire southern portion of the country of Argentina, from the very tip of Tierra del Fuego all the way up into Cordoba. These provinces make up Patagonia, which also even goes into the Andes Mountains and into Chile. So this Patagonian region is unique in that it does cover some of the high Andes Mountains, but it predominantly covers the rolling hills on the eastern side of the Andes, and those hills are like a, a high desert. Algar is a huge supporter of Safari Club International. Liliana is a famous woman who's owned Algar for 18 years, and her dedication to hunting, to the hunting industry, and to conservation is really second to none. I began hunting when I married my husband. And when I began hunting, I began hunting big game. So I began with a red stack. And from that moment on, I began in love with them. A red deer of 400 points is really a monster. It wasn't but a decade ago when a 400 point stag would have been in the top 10. A 420 or 30 point stag would have been number one. Nowadays, it's possible to get a 500 point stag. There is 500 point stags here at Algar. They're able to get that nutrition and the protein they need to grow antlers of tremendous size. On this Patagonian winter's day, a dense fog and chill hang in the air. Not suitable conditions for red deer activity. Mike and Liliana opt to find a vantage point below snow line and use the inclement weather to their advantage in hopes of intercepting migrating wild boar. Somewhere out here, we know there's wild boar. Somewhere we're gonna find them. Yeah, we are but going too. It's a cold overcast day, and so you yeah, can't see. Yeah, it's a too, unfortunately. But I'm, I'm lucky, you know. You're normally, lucky? Yeah, I'm normally lucky. I love so it. So if when I'm I hunt lucky, with... you will be lucky. Well, <laughs> that's right. Uh, hopefully your luck will rub off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so. Humble. But it, it is cold. I mean, it's the middle of winter. Yeah. And some of the wild boar, they come down from the high mountains. Yeah, and looking for food. And they're looking for food. Yeah. And we're so, looking for them. Unfortunately, this is not the best day but, uh, because of the mist. But we will find it. Right. We, you know, Remember patience. It. Patience in hunting is everything. Right, and that's why we're out here. We're just going to keep trying and trying, and, we will. and we're going to we're going to tap into your luck. 
it's unlucky as well right. to, to own a, a ranch like this one. Mm -hmm. And um, we feel great here. Mm. We love this. It's a beautiful place. I, I normally call this place the middle of nowhere. So, so sometimes I stand like this, like now, feeling me alone between heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. It is a great feeling, it's isn't it? It's great. And I that's love what it. is so great about hunting, is that you really do feel part of the country, part of, you're in the brush, sometimes you're crawling and stalking wildlife, yeah. and sometimes it's just out here looking at this beautiful countryside. Why we did this? The first thing was because we love animals. Right. The second thing is because we are hunters. And the third thing, because we love receiving people from all over the world mm -hmm. to come here and enjoy a real hunt. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you say that. The first thing is because we love animals. Yeah. Because as a hunter, that yeah. is why we hunt, because we love the animals. Not because we love to kill them, but we love the hunt. But you know what animals you can kill and what animals you can't. Right. We never kill young animals. Right. You're killing the old animals, your means of protection of conservation, exactly. of adding value to them. You're doing what needs to be done to exactly protect the animals. That. And to it's because them. you love them. Right. Exactly that. Mm, that's why we hunt. Uh, that's why. All right, well, let's keep hunting. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go for that pig. We're going to find that wild boar somewhere. I know he's here. SCI's commitment to promoting international hunting is evident by our involvement in the Convention on International Trade of Endangered Species and the World Forum on the Future of Sport Shooting Activities. When we purchased the ranch 18 years ago, there was nothing in here. We began planting trees because we wanted to change a little bit the face of the desert. And since we purchased the ranch 18 years ago, we planted up to this moment more than 3 million pine trees. Liliana and her husband, Alberto, and their company, Algar, support SCI and the protection of the freedom to hunt. They do that in many ways by providing an incredible hunting opportunity here in Patagonia, but also on their website and all of their hunters that come here, they promote SCI because they know that protecting the freedom to hunt is the only way that will save this for future generations. It's the support of individual hunting outfitters like Algar who come to the International Hunters Convention, the Safari Club Convention that happens every year in January, where they donate their hunts for auction at SCI's convention. That money goes directly into protecting the freedom to hunt. And SCI then in turn supports the outfitters through holding this international convention, not only in Reno, Nevada, but also in local chapters throughout the world so that people can come, they can bid on and experience hunts here in South America, throughout South Africa, New Zealand, and the rest of the world. The lifting fog reveals the stark beauty of the Patagonian desert and Liliana puts her glass on the countryside to search for boar. It doesn't take her long to locate a group, and this sounder contains a mature male. The left, the last one on the left seems to be a male. Just driving along and there they are. The boars are in good position for a stock, and Emilio Malapi leads Mike in for a careful downwind approach. Wild boars are extremely wary, Putting the sneak on a sounder of this size is a difficult task. The wild boar are difficult to find because they're small, they're elusive, they can hide. Yeah, the and they run fast. And they run fast. Yeah. Okay. Frankly, uh, I think the wild boars are the smartest animals. Mm -hmm. They are very, very smart. They're clever, aren't they? Very, 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 very clever.
Good Mike. It worked. How about that? Hi, Mike. Thank you, my dear. Thank you so much. Hi, Look Mike. at this. Look at this. Did we do well? Good. Excellent. Is this Excellent. is this what we're looking for? Exactly this. Uh, I'm this so is glad. fantastic. Well, it's a true Eurasian wild boar. I mean, you can see it's from Russian, hair. Euro Russian European. Yeah, wild European. Boar. And this Russian. is absolutely pure. Yeah, they are pure, aren't they? Absolutely pure. There isn't any other kind of domestic pig stock here that they would crossbreed with. So not here you in get Patagonia. A true <laughs> no, no, Russian not here. wild boar. Yeah, pure. And Absolutely. you know, they just have such an amazing look to them with that big snout and those those tusks. And they can be aggressive, huh? Very. Really, very, very aggressive. aggressive. When the wild boar is really dangerous. A really dangerous really animal. Really dangerous. I would consider him almost a dangerous game animal because of this tusk. This bottom tusk comes out, and when he's wounded and pressured. Yeah. If he sees you or senses you are the danger, he will come for you. Of course. And it's this thing that's given no people doubt. a number of stitches. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I mean, I, I hear people no, no, have no. gotten these all the yeah. way up their leg and even arteries, so people can die from you, these arteries. You, you, need, uh, you need to be very, very careful with a wounded uh, wild boar. Emilio got me close. You gave me the opportunity, Algar supporting Safari Club International, and giving me a great hunt. Thank you so much. I love it. I love it.